right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeff. So thanks for the people that was subscribing yesterday. Um, I made that video yesterday on uh, Modern Warfare, talking about how broken it is and other things like that. I don't know why I air quoted broken. I mean, it literally is. It's very likely that it just won't be updated or patched in any way, shape, or form unless it can somehow be fixed through the Warzone thing or whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure Modern Warfare 2019 is left in the dust, which, I mean, it's expected. Every single Call of Duty has been left in the dust. They maybe have like a second year support at most, but year three and shit like that, that's where it gets real murky because at that point they are deep into their next game. No matter which studio you get it from, that's just kind of how it goes. People were telling me to try out uh, DLSS on here because apparently it's a lot better now. Maybe I will. Maybe I could do some like DLSS with a little bit of sharpening or some shit like that, see where the frames land. What? Telling me that I have a new weapon, but I, I can't... If I check the gunsmith for this Panzerfaust, it immediately gives me a dev error. But I already checked it, and it won't let me clear it. There, there's the green dot. I'm gonna clear, but it's still green. They're baiting me. It's still there. I'm doing it anyway. Fuck! Did Alexis and I last night were watching uh, Witcher? New season came out or whatever. I seriously should go back and play some Witcher 3. I played it a little bit. But, like, any game that was like that, like, see, back in the day, you know what game I'm looking for? Didn't they do a teaser on the new Fable game that's supposed to be coming out? What's going on with that? Okay, wait, so, Lionhead Studios, okay, that, that sounds familiar. Okay, I remember the logo. They were dissolved. Who is working on the new Fable? My favorite Fable was probably the first Fable, but Fable 2 wasn't too bad. I wasn't a huge fan of Fable 3. It made them a little bit more action-based than, like, RPG-based in those games, it felt like. It did the same thing with, um... Dragon Age. The first Dragon Age, Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Origins was like actually like a strategy game, especially if you played it like on a higher uh, like difficulty or whatever. You would actually have to actively like program your party members to do the, you know, right things at a certain time. If I fall below this certain amount of HP, this person must use this spell within this period of time. This person should be casting this spell whenever they're this distance. And then there's like actual real time combat with that programming. It's not like a turn based thing. But then once Dragon Age 2 and 3 and Inquisition came out it was more like actiony action adventure i really just like the rpg elements and shit i want stats i don't want action i want fucking stats nothing was wrong with action but i don't want to feel like i'm playing an action game krampus is on the hunt dude people have been asking for krampus to come out of the game he's not coming out guys you're gonna have to wait until like new year's probably unless they have it set up already as soon as like uh christmas is done on the 26th krampus is gone but for some reason i doubt it so many people are asking them to remove him and fix it and everything but it's literally part of the event there's no way they're gonna get rid of krampus and what's the point of them sitting there and adjusting his stats if he doesn't completely break the game right he's annoying sure all the clips that you see absolutely the most annoying most unfortunate thing to happen to you a lot of the time but he's not really out of control or like op so what are they gonna do go and nerf him or hit his health pool and then we'll never see him again anyway I threw that straight through him. All right, Goku, bet. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but you literally punch like Krillin. I'm gonna watch you die so hard. I don't feel like I noticed a sizable enough, like, FPS game to warrant using DLSS. On quality, anyway, or ultra. Wait, there's someone behind me. He's on the roof. And he just immediately gets destroyed. I lost it. I tried. Somebody else is coming, though. Watch out, Dan. He's level 11. Okay. Oh. I was thinking potentially he could have been a cheater, but nope. Definitely not. Yeah, leave it up to me to talk about every other game but Call of Duty while spectating Call of Duty. I've never actually spectated or seen anybody that actually has landed at docks before. I've never seen anyone actually play this area, so this is interesting. You know, not bad. Got multiple people here. Is this place usually busy? I'm still thinking peak is the play. Is it not anymore? I haven't actually played since the Vanguard Royale, so... Ugh, just thinking about me unlocking that obsidian yesterday made me physically ill. Isn't he behind you? I guess he's both ways. I, I don't know. Oh. Man. I was thinking that the NZ had, like, literally zero recoil, but it seems like whenever you hold it down, its recoil pattern is, like, actually off. Can you make it from here? Oh, you can. You think this guy went all the way up? Oh, he did. Now, you should just vault it. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, broke his armor while he's flash. I've been noticing more people running flash grenades over stuns now. Why did he jumped off? 
above him, and the guy never even played it back up. And he's down. Three kills. I mean, we've seen much slower gameplay. Good shit. Using these vehicles on this map, way better. Way more flow now. I don't know. With DLSS, I am still seeing a little bit of that blurriness, but it does seem a little bit more clear. But on a map like this, I don't know if it's better to have a little bit more blurriness or the sharpness, because... The sharpness, like, forms into itself. It's like a whole nother dimension with the graphics on these games. I, I swear it is. I play on 1440p as well. I mean, sure, my eyes are getting worse. I'm staring at screens for well over two decades at this point. Like, hard staring. Um, Soft wants to get the bounty contract. Someone's sniping at him. No, he's up behind him. No, 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 no. He's right there in front of you. He's running right towards the guy that shot him. He's right on that hill right in front of him. He doesn't even realize it. He's to his left. Yep. Uh, he just now realized where he was. Wait, I thought that it would take six full seconds for that thing to work. He nerfed the heartbeat sensor by making it be able to ping every, like, six seconds instead of three seconds. But a ping goes out every time you just bring it back up instead of... Oh my god. It can't even nerf shit properly. I, I can't. Why was he able to get a heartbeat ping so often? It just Is it a spectator bug or is he actually being able to get that ping? He shouldn't be able to get the ping that fast. He was able to open it, send out a, 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 a heartbeat... Put it away for like two seconds and then bring it out and he's able to heartbeat again? What? Pressing his bounty. He drove up past him. He's right there. Hops out. Wants to challenge him. Has his loadout at this point. Breaks that to see if the guy's there. He already jumped out and is behind him. He actually has dead silence or some shit. Or the audio is just stuff. Oh, man. His armor's broken. This guy has to push. He didn't push at all. He actually just sat there. The bounty is there. He's trying to wait out the bounty instead of fighting it now. Throws out the stun, but at this point he's too weak. Really bad idea, but he's gonna- Ooh! <laughs> Didn't get the bounty in time though, so that's really unfortunate. He was literally just trying to survive the bounty. He did not want to give him the reward. Remove the benefit of ghosts where uh, you're able to stay off a heartbeat sensor. Give that to cold-blooded. I don't even know why I throw these ideas out there. I've been seeing people say something about like running incendiaries on SMGs. Is that actually a thing? That's annoying. Somebody aiming at him with a sniper rifle all the way up there. There's also another truck here. He's gonna jump out. Wow. All right. I don't know if he realizes that there's a guy aiming at him with a sniper rifle right there. You're gonna get shot in the head. He's literally still staring. Why is he not taking the shot yet? Oh my god, he can't. There's no way that guy had that. He's literally just like up here by the by. Jumps out, still wants to fight him. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy's still aiming there. Just lighting the vehicle up. The guy gets out, finally wants to challenge him. Calls that in. He's Oh my god, he shot a rocket back at him. He shot clusters this way. Trading kill streaks and shit. There's still a sniper that can see them. I'm telling you. Probably gonna have a fourth person involved now. Yep, there's another one. He sees him. Oh, but he knows he got aimed at because the high alert in solos is just the play. It's better than ghost. Anything to combat ghost. I'd rather everybody have superhuman reflexes than people just sneaking around. Like, he's got the Cooper. They nerfed the Cooper, didn't they? And people are, are running around with this Thompson. Okay. I'm happy the Thompson is actually getting... Like, the Thompson is low-key one of my favorite guns in all of Call of Duty. I think back to, like, when I played, like, COD 2 and shit. I used it all the time. I pretty much have enjoyed every single version of the Thompson I've ever gotten in every single game that it's been in. Not of, it might not have always been the best in all of them, but I just, I don't know. There's something I like about the iron sights. The iron sights are always great in every single one of the games. It always has... Oh. Krampus? Oh, Krampus is over on the ground over there. You can see him on the radar. Calls in the uh, advance. So he calls in it advance, but he's not gonna go and... Like, push these people, man. Come on, what are you doing? Is that not Krampus? Is that somebody with ghosts? It must be somebody with ghosts, yeah, okay. There's somebody in there. I guess for a second he thought about going to buy another UAV or whatever, but uh, I guess he's gonna go and buy another UAV again. I, I don't know, there's so much indecisiveness from this guy. Doomsday was a lot more decisive. This dude, he literally just spent all of that money to not press anybody. You are back at the same spot, a lot less money now. I, I don't understand what the play was here. Well, he, the guy across definitely heard that. Somebody's below him as well. Down to your bottom left. Yep. Got him. Tony Montana gets dropped. I don't think that guy was suppressed at all. So the dude across the way definitely knows that he's there now. Probably actually has an eye on him now. Yep, he's coming. He's coming in as well. Wow, he, he's literally going... He's just willing to fight him like that. Okay. Gun grenades. Rose. Oh, God. I mean, this guy doesn't seem like the absolute worst. When he got challenged, he knew to back off at that point. 
I wonder if he has dead silence. No, he's plating right here. He's plating right under you. He's looking for more plates if you open that. So you know that he probably doesn't have as many plates as you do. If you break him a couple more times or at least one more time, he's either going to have to back off or... Oh, never mind. Somebody took him out. Somebody absolutely beamed him. That was not a lot of bullets and he died really quickly. Unless they actually didn't have any armor at all at that point. Maybe only had two plates. One plate. I definitely heard them put at least one plate on. He's still worried about this building over there like those two players weren't hit. Oh, he hears someone behind him. Maybe not. I don't know. What the fuck? Where is everybody coming from? Shit is third party central. Does he not know? The dude came in here, closed the door, and just went completely silent. Oh my god. And you're gonna have to move though. Because this position is not good for you. I'm telling you right now. I mean, I, I guess he's already screwed. I mean, he could try to get the rotation and like, I don't know. This is really, really bad for him. Anyone that's already up here or even has this house or maybe even all the way up here, they've already won the game. If you're down here, there's no way a player from down here is going to be able to win. We're in such a bad position that it's... Okay, so there's actually a lot of people still stuck down over here. So he does have a little bit more of a chance than we thought. There's 13 other players besides him. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Eh, there's quite a few there. There might be some people inside of that circle still. Go. Is he still thinking someone's in there? I mean, you still hear the uh, trophy system in there, so... Oh my god, there was somebody in there. There is no way that's the same player that was there for the past, like, 15 minutes. That's not real. Not real, not real, not real, not real. It's just my brain playing tricks on me. That guy had every opportunity to rotate into a much better position than this. All that time. Next time you guys design like mountains and cliffs and shit like that, please make them a little bit more like this. Not all over the map, but I mean a little bit more climbable, please. Gonna run up and around. Not bad. Not a bad rotation. I was saying, I was thinking that that would be a good idea to rotate there, but I thought maybe there would be more people holding off that edge here. This is a beautiful area. It seems like there would be a chest behind this uh, waterfall or some shit. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually tries to go into it. Um, now he wouldn't be safe. Oh, heartbeat. They're getting shot and they went down right above him. Oh, no. He's really willing to just sit there and hold it out for its nerfed duration. Yeah, 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 for sure. If you put it in your pocket, it 100% pings faster again. What is the point of the nerf? That's not a real nerf. Give it a battery, man. Please, man. This shit is out of control. It's too strong. These guys can't even shoot straight. Oh. Breaks armor, gets the headshot. Same dude that got killed earlier, I think by Doomsday. And then another ping right in front of him. It's nice that these guys don't have ghosts. Don't get me wrong, but it's like... This guy never would have known that the guy was there without this. Like, he's not actually using his eyes. Good throwing knife, though. Seven kills. Nice job. Now you gotta figure out where the last player is. Do you think you can harp? To his right. Wow, look at that. Easy peasy end game. Beautiful. I bet he loves Caldera. Oh, no, he was definitely closer than that. He's, like, literally on the ledge right below you. Yeah. He's behind the tree. And win the game. I mean, that was the most simple game I have ever watched in my life. The dude, I expected him just from that building to that building. This is the version of Call of Duty that's the most popular. It blows my mind, man. I hope that we can unlock Atomic soon. You know what I thought about? What if the meta doesn't use any Vanguard weapons at all? So I don't even really use it in Warzone anyway.